Hi everyone, my name is Roxy and that's Kati over there. So today I'm going to be showing you how I taught my Pomeranian how to shake hands. Um, I actually just taught him this morning and here's how I did it. So instead of giving these as treats, I'm going to cut them up into small bits to make them more as a reward. And it's really important that you choose something that you know your dog absolutely loves so that that way it's going to be more motivational for them to be more focused so you have their 100% attention some dogs are more natural at shaking hands like you don't even have to chain them you just give them your paw whereas others like this little fellow um, you just have to spend more time with them in the beginning Scotty doesn't really shake my hand he just like look at me he knows how to sit but he doesn't know how to shake hands so how i got scotty to shake hands was an accident actually which happened this morning so how i got scotty to shake hands was actually an accident that happened this morning um i was sitting down and i was reading a book and here comes scotty just giving me his paw and yeah i think it was his way of trying to get my attention and from there i realized that the way to make him shake hands is to kind of like ignore him like don't pay attention to him and then he'll just do that but of course you have to make sure that you have something that he wants anyway i'm gonna go straight to how it is to train your pomeranian anyway i'm gonna go straight to how it is to train your pomeranian on how to shake hands so as you can see he's already very excited for his treats for his rewards now um, yeah, he already knows how to sit because I taught him. So sit is like this. So for example, okay, he's already sitting down because he knows that's the way to get a tree is to sit. But then, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make him smell this and he knows that if he does what I want, then he's going to get it. So, okay, Scotty. Okay, first, first, I'll make him smell it. Okay. Right, so keep in mind guys, um, I just taught him literally this morning how to shake hands. So if he doesn't do it right away, please bear with me. <laughs> I'm just going about this by watching other YouTube videos and yeah, it's also important that if he does what you want him to do correctly, you need to reward him right away at that moment in time. So let's do it again. Okay, so I'll take him. I'll do is I'll make him smell it I'll put it behind my back and then very good now see the moment he does something right you need to give him his reward right away and yeah you just have to be consistent training your dog is more of like training yourself how to be patient so the more patient you are you'll definitely get your dog to do what you want him to do this again. Just make him smell it, know that, make him know that his treats are just around the corner and then I hide it behind. Okay. Very good, Mabita! Very good! Okay, baby. Okay, as you can see, he's really, as you can see, he's very eager to get Marvel's treats, but you need to earn it. Scotty's about four years old now, so I wouldn't say he's um, he's a baby anymore. So I guess it's never too late to train your dog, but of course the earlier the better. Okay, baby, I'm sorry, mom's talking. Okay, come again. Oh, very good. Now some of you might want to use like those um, clicky stuff. I find that rewarding them with these guys are more effective. <laughs> Oh, okay, again. Oh. Where's my shake hand? Oh, very good. Very good. So there you have it, guys. So there you have it, guys. I hope this video was a little bit helpful. Um, it's really important to be patient with your dog because not every dog will get it right away. As I've said, it was only this morning that I taught this little fella how to shake hands. Um, it took me about 30 minutes to like 
my hand was like this, and then I'd have to, sometimes I'd have to give him a little nudge like this. So there, yeah, you need, sometimes they need help, so you have to grab his paw, and then as you do that, then give them a treat, and then hopefully it works. So, yeah, so. So some of you may have stubborn dogs that don't get it. Like, so you might have to grab their paw a little bit like this and then reward them like that. I, as I've said, I'm really not a dog trainer. I'm not a professional dog trainer. This is just something I enjoy. I absolutely love dogs. So just be patient and I'm sure you'll get there. If they don't shake your hand instantly, it won't harm to just grab their paw a little bit like this and as you do, give them the treat. And hopefully they get it, so. <laughs> Scotty's four years old now and I wouldn't say he's a baby anymore but it's never too late to definitely train your dog how to do tricks such as simple things like shaking hands and sitting and yeah again it, it's you'll always have to spend a lot of time and make sure you have a lot of patience because um, dogs are very smart so if you train them well enough they'll be able to do what you want them to do it's just a matter of investing a lot of time and love and yeah your dog will be your best friend and dogs are not only a guy's best friend they're a girl's best friend too right my actions are inconsistent sometimes i'll do something and then yeah you dogs are very intelligent they read your mannerisms so it's important to be consistent with your actions oh he's going to eat Okay, maybe he's not really into his treats anymore. this morning um, but yeah eventually you'll get there so I hope that was helpful if you have other tips maybe I'm wanting to teach him how to roll over or play dead so um, yeah just comment below and let me know and good luck guys and please send me photos of your doggos because I absolutely love dogs bye